Hello, uh, and welcome to my store story videos. Um, every Friday, I'm going to release a uh, video talking about the weird stuff I had to deal with working at a grocery store. Um, and uh, quite a while now, ago now, uh, they uh, revamped how the, uh, um, the uh, check writing and ID system worked. And, and when they redid the check writing system, everybody had to uh, show their ID when they wrote a check. Everybody who wrote a check had to show their ID. People still write checks? Mm, more people than you would think. It's not the most popular form of payment, but quite a few people still write checks to pay for their groceries. Mostly just elderly people who don't trust using plastic to use to pay for their stuff. And that's not really the problem. The problem is convincing them that they have to show their ID to write a check at the store. Because uh, you, you kind of have to prove that you're the owner of the account to write a, a, a check in that account. And it can make for quite the argument. You wouldn't think that would be much of an issue. You really wouldn't think it would be. But yeah, that was a long couple of weeks where everybody who wrote a check had to write, had to show their identification. And just about every single time you had someone writing a check and you would ask for their ID, you would get in the same argument that they shop, they've been shopping here for years. We had, I didn't know that, but we reset our, our check system so you have to show your ID to verify this is your checking account. And since the only identification that the, the register will accept is your driver's license or a state issued ID. That's it. If you don't have a driver's license or a state ID, you can't write a check in that account. And if, if it's asking for your checking account, it doesn't matter if you started working, if you started shopping there when Jesus was still around, you could have known the founder of the store. But if it's the register is asking for your ID, you have to show your ID. And the thing is, once you have a checking account with an identification attached to it, that's the only time you'll have to show your ID for to write a check. But that one time people will, oh my God, it's just the most horrible thing that you ever have to do. That you have to pull your, your driver's license out of your wallet. Because I don't know why this is such a big deal for people that you have to prove that your check is your check. People will say, I've been shopping here for years. I've never had a written a check before. Uh, I've never had a, had an ID to check, write a check before. And in the older system, there was a way to do an override to bypass the ID. If it was asking for ID, there was a way to do a, a, a key override to to uh, to do the to bypass the ID. Probably why they changed the system. But again, with the old system, all you had to do was show your ID once, and then that the check account is assumed to be yours. And the newer system, if you haven't wrote a check for a couple of years, it will make you show your ID again, even that's your account if you haven't showed it, the uh, written a check in quite some time. And which starts the whole argument again. Yes, you will have to show your ID if you're writing a check and it's asking for ID. And I've had plenty of people ask me, well, don't you know who I am? I don't know who you are and the register doesn't know who you are. So yeah, you're gonna have to show your ID. I actually had more than one person when I said, uh, okay, the register's asking for ID, can I see your identification? <laughs> they just look at me, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> that's that's not a proper response. Um, uh, no thanks doesn't get you uh, get that check processed. Um, uh, <laughs> and, uh, one guy goes, I thought this was America. You don't have to show your papers just to buy something. Yeah. It is America, and I don't have to sell it to you. Um, yeah, uh, you don't have to show your papers to buy something. It's like, yeah, it's papers, pa papers, please, because this is America. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, pr prove your who you are. That's that's all you have to do to write a check. <laughs> You're not. There's no. Uh, constitutional amendment saying you have the right to buy something with a check without an ID. That's not... America has nothing to do with it. <laughs> I've got to write an outro to this. I've been thinking about this episode for so long, but I just...
kind of cut it off at the end. But yeah, um, if you have to, if the register is asking for ID, you kind of have to show your ID. Heck, that even applies to um, driver's license, um, paychecks. And the paycheck, you have to show it every time you cash a paycheck, you have to show ID. And that's kind of a problem too, because people will, why do I have to, sh I showed you my pay my ID last week. Yeah. And if you want me to cash your check, you're going to show it next week too. <laughs> every week you want us to cash your paycheck, I'm going to need to see your ID every time. Otherwise, someone else can grab your paycheck, come to the store and cash in your paycheck. Is that what you're wanting? Because <laughs> I'm guaranteeing you probably don't want that. <laughs> yeah, just... It's, I think that goes back to the, the spoiled brat attitude that we have to deal with. A lot of adults are throwing around because I have to do an extra little step by getting my driver's license out of my wallet. How dare you expect me to do that? I mean, it's like, do you have your driver's license with you? Because if you're out driving around, you kind of want to want to have that with you. <laughs> um. But yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and cut off there because I'm rambling now. But um, yeah, every Friday I want to share a store story of the weird stuff I had to deal with working at a grocery store. I'll try to get my apartment cleaned up. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, have a nice day.